McBride here from my studio outside um, Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, I want to bring you yet another uh, amp review. This one's a small combo amp. As you know, I'm prone to liking those. Um, it's the Gibson GA15 RVT. <clears throat> it's also known as the Gibson Explorer. That little combo is a 12 watt amp with a 110 speaker in it. They were made from 1965 to 1967, so it's a cool little vintage amp. Um, they're commonly known as the white face or the white panel Gibsons. Uh, my particular one is not original. It has many replaced components, but it does have hand-wired um, circuitry, and it also has the nice cosmetics that are, really, that are in excellent shape. Um, I have verified that this particular amp was previously owned by the original outlaw bassists, Harvey Dalton Arnold which kind of gives it some extra value to me anyway. <clears throat> um, from a hardware perspective, this particular amp has both re reverb and tremolo, which is kind of nice. Um, mine happens to have a reverb transformer in it, and I believe that most do not, but the matching schematic for mine, in order to find one with the reverb transformer on it, says 1965, so I think mine is an early one. Um, that said, Gibson amps are notorious for not having matching schematics, schematics that don't match exactly is what I'm saying. Um, the tube complement, uh, two 6BQ5 power amp tubes. Um, on, on this one that I'm reviewing, uh, the socket's been rewired to accommodate the more readily available EL84. Um, it has one 12AU7 tube that handles both the reverb and the tremolo circuit. And it, ha and it originally came with two 6EU7 preamp tubes. Uh, the one I have, the tube sockets have been rewired for the more readily available 12AX7s. <clears throat> so I can get 12, I can get tube replacements for this one pretty easily. Um, it also does not have the original Gibson speaker, but everything I've read about that, that's a good thing. I don't think the original speakers were, were very good from what I hear. Um, the original reverb tank and reverb transformer both failed on me since I've had the amp. And so I had to have them replaced. I have gotten the uh, a new, what they call a revisit reverb tank. And also I had a uh, Mercury Magnetics reverb transformer put in. Uh, had it serviced by the local guitar amp uh, repair guru here in the Raleigh area. And so it's good to go now. Cosmetically, it has a great retro vibe, which I really like. The blue Tolex and the Gibson logo are just really cool. Sound-wise, it's bright and clean until you get up around 8. And then it starts to take on an edge, which is really quite musical and nice. Uh, at full volume, it still doesn't blow you out of the room. So at a gig, uh, you can turn this way up and, and compete well with the other instrument, but at the same time, get it, get it really working. <clears throat> on the foot switch, it does come with a foot switch. I don't have the original. It has a strange little five pin plug that uh, it was originally designed with. And since I don't have the original foot switch, I had to make a cable and so I made one with a five end with the five pin plug on one end and the uh, and a tip ring sleeve quarter inch jack on the other a quarter inch plug on the other end and it works nicely with a with a foot switch that I happen to have in hand. So that's it. Um, let's don't waste any more time. Let's listen to it. Alright welcome back here we have the Gibson GA15 RVT. Uh, it's got the cool vintage Gibson logo. It's got the white panel or white face as I was talking about. It's got basically three inputs, but they're all, as far as I can tell, they're all kind of unison together. They may have different resistors in the uh, serial resistors, series resistors in them, but basically you can choose any one you want. It has a loudness which is a volume knob. It has a treble and bass, which is your EQ. It has rev reverb. And it has your two tremolo settings, depth and frequency. And then it has your power off, on, and on again, which is probably swapping the uh, polarity on the on switch. But anyway, and then it has your dual light. This one has a not original 10-inch uh, speaker in it. And I will, I will let you know what brand that is in the uh, in the comments and uh, well so let's listen to it so what I have right now is I have the volume up around seven and the tremolo tremolo the treble about 
to about two, probably needs to go to about three. And the bass all the way up, because it's a 10 inch speaker and you don't get much bottom out of it. I have the reverb right now switched out, because I have a foot switch. And then I have the tremolo also switched out, even though the tremolo is set to a depth of 10 and a frequency of three and a half or so. So when we get to that, you'll hear that. Right now, just clean as you get, just a clean uh, about two thirds of the way up. And I'll let you hear what the clean sound is on this one. I'll do a couple of small pieces here. Okay, here's a little jazzy thing for you. So there's that. Uh, I'll let you listen to the, uh, I kind of like the way that's EQ'd. If we take some of the bass out, you'll hear that. Hear, I'll let you hear that. It sounds pretty small and I don't like it. Push it back up. Now if we put the treble way up here. I like it down around three. Um, so I'll let you hear a little bit about uh, of uh, all the way up. Because when you turn it all the way up, it's got a little growl to it. It's got a nice, uh, just a little bit of an edge to it, which I really can use very well. All right, let's try the tremolo. So the tremolo, turn it on, you kind of get an idea. Try a little of this. Let's turn on some reverb, a little bit. You can hear the reverb kind of goes, can go into, into out of space pretty quickly. Which I don't prefer. But it, I'd rather be down around this, down a little bit less than that. So we'll just take it down to, say, two or three.
It's a very simple amp, so it really only has that. Those are the, the controls on it. Very simple. Two preamp tubes, two power amp tubes, and then a one tube that controls reverb and tremolo. And I'll let you know that I'm playing a, uh, a Switchback uh, Guitar Works City Boy. That's this guy. It's kind of a Strat knockoff. It's got, it's got bird's eye maple neck. It's got two humbuckers, both in the, in the, in the uh, neck and the middle, and then it's got a humbucker in the bridge. Uh, I don't use the humbucker very much. I mean, I guess I could let you hear that. I'll push this on onto humbucker mode, and and maybe we can do something uh, a little bit. pretty much it. The Gibson GA15 RVT. It's got a cool little vibe to it. <laughs> 